Thank God it's Monday. Uh, welcome to Minneapolis St. Paul Airport. I've never been in this airport before, but uh, I have an interesting, very interesting uh, presentation today. I'm very excited about it, and I think you'll be just as excited about it as I am going to be excited about pres uh, presenting it to you. Today, again, is March 18th. Uh, my previous uh, presentation, I said February. I meant to say March. I've always had trouble saying the right month uh, of these particular presentations. So I want to just make sure that I am saying the right date on this particular presentation. This is uh, March 18th, Monday. So welcome to Monday, the start of a new week. Uh, the beginning uh, uh, to turn the page and start the week, uh, the new week off on the right foot with the right attitude. And uh, a positive attitude always helps in any situation. And uh, if you have any tension or you feel angry or you have some kind of, don't make any decisions while you're in that frame of mind. I recommend it. Take that time to take that time. If you have the time to take that time, have that time to uh, to take the time it needs to take of the time that it would make, take to calm down. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go. I've got a special presentation here. Now I have to be careful here because I am in the United States and in the United States, people for some reason go nuts if they think that somebody is uh, uh, showing their images on a particular device. And of course, this device is the uh, uh, iPhone 12 Max Pro. It's been serving me very well. I only dropped it once on the Brooklyn Bridge. And uh, all right, let's go and let's be very careful here. We don't want to get in anybody's face because they just, Americans just are self-conscious. They're, they're, they're wound up tight. And uh, I saw a magazine today, a magazine cover. If you can get a hold of the magazine cover of this issue, I saw it here at the airport of, uh, I'm gonna just walk here as quickly as I can. I don't wanna get, like I say, in trouble. And this is where we're gonna go. We're gonna go here to the Pet Relief, S-A-R-A, -A, turf, uh, waste bags and flush button. Sink and trash path. You are here. Okay, I'm right here. And let's go in. If you've never been in any of these, this is uh, I have. This is a nice chrome. Look at the nice chrome door they have on the outside of this. That's a nice door. I mean, they really put a nice door. That's that's a better door than most people have on their homes. Okay, we're going inside. This is where you hang the leashes. I guess this would be the leash rack much like the same kind of rack or hook you would have on the back of your bathroom door or your hotel. So here's the sink area. And they want the dogs to wash their hands as well, I guess. Wash your canine hands for 20 seconds with soap and water. Travel con uh, confidentially. I don't know what the heck that is. Here's your paper towel and your trash. I don't know how the dog's gonna reach that trash pail. And, uh, and I guess he puts his paw up in here. I don't know, unless it's a Great Dane. I don't know how a Chihuahua or a Poodle is going to get, be able to reach his paws that high. And the water and the sink area. And uh, what else is here? All right. Customers are our top priority. Scan to let us know about your restroom experience. Well, they must have a dog that can speak dog. Or I don't know how a dog can communicate with another dog. Push to exit, so they're gonna let it go with this in case you're uh, in a, a wheelchair or, or some kind of device. Uh, and it even has uh, for blind dogs. Look at this, a blind dog. But again, I don't know why these are so high up. I mean, this, I mean, most dogs, I don't think they'll be able to reach this. Uh, uh, please dispose of your animal's way. Simply push this button prior to exiting. And this is the mutton bag, safe, easy, pest waste pickup mitt. So this is nice, you get a mitt here and you pull it out 
And if you don't know, I used to, uh, I used to, uh, I used to be in the animal business. If I can't, I got, I'm, I don't have my Brian Red Band selfie stick. What you do is you put your hand inside the bag, like so, if I can get it. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Okay, why isn't the bag opening? What the hell is going on here? What is this black thing for? Just give me a bag. You don't need two things here. What is this thing? What is this black thing for? What the? Hold on. I'm going to have to put this phone down and figure out this bag. Hold on. Why is this black thing here? Is that the bag? What is the white thing? There should just be one bag. There shouldn't be two bags. Where is the, how, is this a defective bag? What the hell is, all right, it's that way. Oh, okay, it's this way. All right, let me, I gotta switch hands now. It looks like a puppet. Okay, this is a real stupid bag. Anyway, you put your hand in the bag like so. This is for people that don't own pets. This is an interesting, uh, no. Okay. I'm just doing a short video. Sure, sure. It's all right, you can come in and use it if you want. I'm not going to film you, but can I film the pet? I won't film you, don't worry. It's for my YouTube channel. I'm not, I'm not here to upset anybody. I know people, people are very sensitive in America. I tell you, when you go overseas and you take your phone out, nobody cares. But in America, people... Anyway, you put this bag on like this, and you pick the, uh, the dog waist with the bag, and then you turn it inside out, and, and your hands are... Uh, have you used this, these uh, canine restrooms before? Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. It's great that they have them because uh, there's a lot of uh, canines that fly nowadays. Yeah. Now what is this door over here for? Is this a service door? What is this over here? No, that's locked. All right, I'll get out of your way. I'll come. No, no, I just, okay. So that's the canine. And they have some photographs of some of the canines to to uh, feel, make them feel at home and, and everything's fine. They even have some fire protection and some, uh, it's well lit. There's a fire protection, uh, carbon monoxide, uh, carbon, uh, monoxide uh, detector or any, anything. And even have nice elevator music, nice classical Bernstein music, uh, maestro music. He was in love with his wife, but he was in love with men as well. And the dog can even hear the announcements for the planes, which is good. Okay. Thank you. Sure. How cute is this? I've never been in here before when there was an actual canine. Wow, look at that. What's the dog's name? Zenny. Zenny? Yeah. Uh, takes a little bit getting used to. Right, it's, it's like a foreign object to them. They're not used to it. Exactly. Okay, Zenny. You want to use this bag? I haven't used oh, it. Oh, no, that's okay. It's okay. So right now he's feeling it out. This AstroTurf is not familiar to the canines because it's just not familiar. A lot of people get this kind of turf for their front lawns and they don't have to mow it. But it looks peculiar. You know, it's very neat, but it's... It's, it's, all right, so we have a urination, very good. What kind of dog is that? Oh, he's a Chewini. A what? A Chewini. A Chewini? Yeah. Wow, how cute, what a great dog. Thank you, have a great day. Sure, I'll get the button over here. Okay, you got it. Okay. Thanks. So that was nice. I think this is a, this has been a successful presentation i just uh, say hello 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 i've got the bag in my hand i guess i'll just discard it i don't need it i'm not going to defecate in here i won't need that bag and uh that was exciting so zini or whatever that dog's name was uh did a stream of urination i did see it there's definitely a stream of urine coming from that animal uh that canine and uh, I didn't expect to see that. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm blown away. I'm excited. I, I didn't expect to see a canine in here uh, defecating or urinating. I mean, certainly that's a plus. I mean, to get that on film and on tape, 
We're about 10 minutes into this video. I know some of you are starting to jump off cliffs that live in the mountainous areas. So this is it. This is your canine restroom. Only in America will you have a restroom for canines. In most countries, they want to eat these dogs. In America, we're going to supply them with a restroom just like we would for any one of us human beings. So our four-legged friends are in good, good shape. So that's it. I think I'm going to close it out right here. And uh, I want to hit this. I want to hit this button right here. This is the flush button. I want to know. My shoes are kind of sticky after coming off that thing. I don't know. It's, it, it feels sticky like one of those... Uh, one of those retail outfits you visit in a red light district. I don't want to go any further into that. Okay, let's let's hit this and see what happens. Whoa. Whoa, what was that? Did you hear that? It must be an underground flushing system. That 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 that, that, that uh I mean, I don't know why I <laughs> Geez, it sounded like a toilet flushing, didn't it? Let me, I'm gonna hit it again, but I'll wait till it stops making noise, just like you would in your own toilet, in a human's toilet. A lot of people, uh, I recommend when they, you know, flush once, maybe twice, three times. Don't, don't fill that bowl up with paper and then, and, and, you know, you better have a plunger ready if that's, the, if, if, if that's how you're gonna do it. So we'll just let this, my, my, my shoes are sticky, I'm gonna have to, well, you're in, a, you're in a canine bathroom. What do you expect your shoes to feel like? All right, I can still hear it. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? It's nice grass. That's a green grass right there, but the dog is not familiar with it. Gee, she was very happy that her canine, uh, I don't know what that name was. That was some kind of Portuguese name or something. It sounded like Chihuahua, but it was a mix, a Chihuahua mix. Maybe some of my viewers can identify that, uh, that breed of dog. Okay, I don't hear anything. Just the music, the faint sound of the elevator music. I guess these are smoke detectors in case one of the canines decides to light up a cigarette or a cigar, you know? And these detectors will detect that smoke and uh, call the proper authorities. Okay, I'm gonna hit that button again and see if you can hear what I hear. I'm gonna come over here with my left hand. See my thumb? All right, I'm gonna just press it. There it goes. Whoa, step back, holy cow. It's doing something, but I can't identify it as doing anything. I can hear it. I know it sounds like water. It must be an internal uh, cleaning system underneath the artificial turf. Now I can hear it draining, so uh, I'll have to do some more research. You can do some more research. We can Google and see just how this system works. It looks like there's a piece of feces. Is that a piece of feces over there that hadn't been cleaned up? I don't even want to go that far. Yeah, it looks like a piece of feces that somebody failed to pick up. With all these bags over here, you know? With, with all these bags over here, these, uh, what do they call them, mutt, mutt mitt? Uh, mutt mitt, and, and somebody didn't want to clean up their, their, uh, their, that looks definitely like a piece of feces. It's hard to determine what breed left that because feces kind of looks the same. But judging from it, it probably looks like a Boston Terrier because it's kind of loose. It's kind of loose. So I would expect uh, loose feces from a Boston Terrier if I had to pick a breed. And they're kind of rude in Boston. I don't, uh, I'm not surprised that a Boston Terrier probably failed to pick up his, his, his defecation. But there it is. I can't believe it. Uh, but you saw it. And, you know, you saw it with your own eyes and I saw it and uh, as disappointed as we are that we saw it, we can't ignore it. I'd be negligent if I didn't show you that piece of feces. So that's it. That's a Westie, by the way. My sister, uh, Bobby Ann and her husband, Paul Maniscalco from Fort Myers, Florida had two Westies when they lived in New Jersey. And that is a breed, a great breed. They don't bark for no reason. 
They're not idiots. They don't bark just because they like to hear the sound of their voice. They're very, they're hyper, hyperallergenic. I think I'm saying that wrong, but they don't make people sick. And they're just a great breed. Over here, I think, is your golden retriever. Beautiful dog, cute as all hell. Just give them 18 months and they just, they start gaining weight like, uh, they just start gaining weight and they, it's like walking an old man, an old fat man with his gonads, you know, dragging on the sidewalk. It's just, people buy these animals because they're so cute when they're young, but in about 18 months to three or four years, you're walking around a special needs adult. I mean, it's horrible. And this one over here is a mix. I think uh, this is a, uh, this is a very peculiar breed. I can't offhand tell you what it is, but I have a, a former coworker in Manhattan Beach that I think uh, owns this breed of dog. And it's a mix, it's a short hair, and it's, uh, it's got a lot, it can hear me now probably with those ears. It could probably hear me now. Delta Airlines is currently oh, announcement. Rose for JFK, flight 1657, All right, let's. Uh, all passengers on Rose for JFK. JFK, somebody's going to New York. Good luck with that. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna hit the uh, handicap uh, wheelchair. That's a universal uh, sign uh, for wheelchairs, and I'm gonna hit that. I am gonna back out of here. There it is. It's opening on its own. Isn't that wonderful? And I'm gonna back out of this restroom. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. And uh, listen, urine on the floor. Looks like urine on the floor. So this is, you might, you might have some problems if you go in here. And this again is uh, F2217. And we're at gate F5. Uh, and that's the uh, K9 restroom. So I hope you enjoyed this short presentation. Don't, don't make it harder on your canines when you travel. If they need to use the restroom, Utilize these canine restrooms uh, frequently and as many times as you can. Have a great rest of the week. It's Monday.